Snow, the foundation of life, the giver of death. It's snowing here in Colorado. I've decided today's the day and we're gonna test out the Mongoose Fat Tire BMX. Oh, they can handle me tighten this thing down, but stripping, we're gonna trust it. I'm thinking this one spot is gonna have snow everywhere and I don't think it's gonna be cleared off. So we're gonna go there first. It used to be one of my favorite spots to learn how to grind. If you don't recognize it, it's been in a few of my videos. It's my favorite ledge. I actually have it pretty well waxed, but uh, in some areas it's kind of wintered over, so maybe it's not the best, but it's got low spots and high spots and we're gonna try to, <laughs> gonna try to get up here. Hey, it's gripping. <laughs> I've got about like 5 PSI in the tires. I couldn't even really read it because my, my dial only goes to 10. I'm definitely not going to do a 180 people. Let's try double peg. <laughs> definitely hitting the dropouts. Just doing that simple little peg chink. I just bent the dropouts in the front. I tell you what, the the landings when you actually make contact with the ground feel like butter smooth because the the tires are so cushiony. It's like having suspension. Okay, I'm happy with that. First spot accomplished. Let's head out. Let's do a nose press on this pole right here to fakey half cab. Kind of sketchy, but I'm taking it away. Foot kept on slipping off. It's actually chunks of ice that formed on the pedals, so my feet just aren't sticking. And I can't get it off because it's just like stuck in the pedal knurling. Maybe let's we'll do a double tire ride to just hop into some grass or something. This is the run up, and then it's about the it's about tire width, being that these are so large. And then I'm just gonna land on the right side here. That's pretty scary. I know it wasn't too impressive, but from my standpoint, that was really scary because the only thing I could think about is like when I land, the extra impact would make my feet blow out and it almost happened with my right foot. Um, I'm gonna take that as a win because I landed in the transition, so. Let's ride down those stairs. There's steel on the end of each one of those steps, so. Wow, that felt smooth. Let's try a little bit faster. Shit. Oh, shit. I think that didn't count. One more try. There we go. I'll take that. That's gonna be kind of scary, but I mean the run-up's good so I can get my feet dry. And there's a little pile of snow here, and there's this launch. I've done it before on my regular BMX, but the ground underneath the snow is like super bumpy. So I'm thinking I'll just give it a little launch over this and just ride it down to glory. And then maybe we'll try to go down these steps. Okay, everyone's like driving by looking at me all weird. <laughs> Let's try it again. Oh, it's too slippery. <laughs> let's, let's try going on these steps. Oh. 
whiskey throttle going on here. A little bit of wet underneath the grip. That's, that's a success. Let's move on. Like zero resistance. I could do it with two fingers. And do like a, a bump jump over this little snowbank slash curb slash uh, center divider thing. Wow, that felt like nothing. I still got throttle grip here. Mongoose. Do you still make this bike? I don't know if you're just selling reserves or whatever. Change the damn gearing ratio. It doesn't make any sense. The tires are huge. Make it easier to pedal. I don't know if I'm going to end up doing anything else with this bike. It's a total piece of shit in terms of uh, the quality of the construction. The concept, I like the concept if, if they actually made, you know, a, a frame that had, you know, just better specs overall and, you know, had better dropouts that wouldn't bend and, you know, a, a better fork that I could trust and a, a decent headset and brakes and every, everything, cranks, bottom bracket. If, uh, if all this stuff was right and... You know, it had some knobby tires, some like knobby uh, Kevlar bead tires, like super lightweight. I could see this being a lot of fun and pretty agile, but this thing weighs like fucking 40 pounds and the geometry is horrible for like doing any kind of tricks. I mean, you know, something like a smaller sprocket. So you, oh, wait, <laughs> look at that. I am so glad I didn't take another run up. The entire chain just came off um, while I was talking to you. But for now, like, this is just like a total piece of shit, and, and it was worth $5. I had $5 worth of fun. Hopefully, you guys got at least uh, five minutes worth of fun, or however long this video ends up being. I don't want to ruin it, but look at this. Let me see if I can roll this down without scaring it away. There's a murder of crows right here, and they feel non-threatened by my presence. See what weird shit they're doing. Okay, birds. Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna drive here, so don't get scared away. This one's like walking right in front of me. Move, bird. Have a good day, birds. I should have told those birds have a good day. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in a future video. Now I feel bad. Have a good day, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in a future video.